Welcome back. Now, if you're still trying to figure out what to wear today, I can help. Red. Anything red would be good as today is Go Red for Women's Day and it's all about your heart, more specifically your heart's health. Cindy from the American Heart Association of West Michigan is here along with Stephanie who has a great story to share with us today. Thank Just you. A, it'll tug at your heartstrings I tell you. Welcome ladies. Thank you Thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Tell us about the American Heart Association, Cindy, and what February is all about. Sure. Well, a couple of things. So we've got American Heart Month all year, all month long. Mm -hmm. And then we have, um, our, we're celebrating a lot of our Go Red for Women initiatives. Mm -hmm. And today is National Wear Red Day. Mm -hmm. And so by wearing red, you're just putting on a, a touch of red and you're kind of acknowledging that women have a higher risk of heart disease than they may think. In fact, it's their number one killer. So we want women to be aware of these. The 16 year old campaign now is trying to get out the warning signs and to tell women that they may have some differences when they have a heart attack. They may not, it may be the same as man's. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of different conditions. In fact, Stephanie has a very unique story. Yeah, the signs of a heart attack, they say, we, we've seen on television, Stephanie, and thank you for sharing your story with us. Okay. The, the big grabber, you know, the, mm -hmm. oh, I'm coming, you know, that type of, but it's not like that all the time. And especially for women, it can be completely different. Friend. Share your story. Sure. I was 18 years old. I was a senior in high school. I'd been 18, 18 years old. Okay. That's that's unique in and of itself. Yes. Go ahead. Absolutely. I'm sorry to oh no. Um, otherwise, completely healthy, cheerleading, dancing, all that kind of stuff. Sure. And I was at school that Friday after having been homesick alone all week. Um, I was at school to help with an assembly, and walking up the stairs, I passed out. I was lucky the kid behind me caught me. Um, they then took me to the hospital just to get a checkup, and my dad said he saw my eyes roll back into my head, and I went into cardiac arrest. I can't even imagine. Well, at 18 years of age, Cindy, this is something that most people would never consider. They always consider a heart attack something to be much later on in mm -hmm. life than a, than a teenager. Yeah, in fact, when younger people have heart attacks, there are times that medical personnel used to think it was related to drugs. And we're, you, you know, that's kind of an educational program sure. that it might not be a drug-related event. As in Stephanie's case, there was an underlying cause. And what was that underlying cause? Long QT heart syndrome. Um, I was in a coma for about three days before they thought it, and it's interesting you mention the drug test, the drug thing, because they tested me numerous times okay. over those three days for drugs. Sure, because assuming think that that was the maybe reason, maybe overdosed on something or mm -hmm. that was out there. But no, what was the name of the disease? I have something called long QT heart syndrome. Okay, it means that my heart takes longer to reset after each beat. Huh, something I'd never heard of. But obviously, you. <laughs> lived a full life since then. Yes. yes. You're married with kids and all of that. They Absolutely. had a family. So um, you're, you're a big supporter of this cause. Absolutely. <laughs> it goes without saying, right, yeah. Cindy? What do we yeah. want to achieve here with the Go Red? Is this, is this uh, obviously, I, I, I got the memo. Okay, yes. I got some red on for you today. Yeah. But what do we, what's the end goal here by wearing red? Well, really to make women more aware. Um, we want them to know that if they have had a cardiac event, that you can go on and live a very full life. Um, you know, Stephanie has three girls. She's gone through three pregnancies with this condition. Mm -hmm. um, there's new advancements and new treatments all the time. Um, we are really advancing the quality of our outcomes uh, in the United States and beyond. Um, there's advancements in CPR. Um, we ha currently have high schoolers learning CPR in schools. Now there's a legislative move to take that away and, and we really hope that we can keep that high school piece of CPR education because it makes a big difference. Absolutely. And in Stephanie's case had the actual sudden cardiac arrest happened in high school you know, we hope there would have been somebody that could have stepped in and helped to save her, so. Beyond wearing red, I know that really quickly, we have, there's a couple of luncheons I want to make sure we yep. mention too, where people can come and talk, discuss, get more information as well. Where yeah. are those at? Well, in Kalamazoo today, this one is sold out. Okay. Um, we're really looking forward to it. And then next week on the 13th in Grand Rapids. And people can find information at heart.org forward slash Grand Rapids Go Red. Got that website right there on the screen for you. February 13th, that's the date for the event here in Grand Rapids as the one in Kalamazoo who is sold out. Let's sell the one out here in GR as well. Stephanie, thank you so much for sharing your thank story. Thank you. And Cindy, great to see you again. Thank